I'm Jackson Burns. I'm the Redneck Archaeologist. And I know that you couldn't hear me very well on the other last video that I posted about the quest. And this is a little bit different. It has to pertain to the same thing, same issue. It's my, about my new quest, my new venture. Um, and I'm not going to go into as much detail about this uh, at this time, about what's happening, but uh, turn it up if you can. I mean, there's some detail in it, but that's the best I want to do on that one. Uh, there's codes and ciphers and secret people with no faces and no names uh, that are involved with this. Uh, I don't know who they are, um, but I'm getting a lot of information from them. And it's new information about the Twin Sisters cannons, which were stolen by Dr. Henry Graves and at least four or five other men along with his ex-servant or ex-slave and current servant at that time, Dan. Uh, they stole these from, they said, the Old Depot or the Depot and then later on said it was two miles from the Old Depot. Uh, we think it could have been at the old, old depot, which would have been the B, 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 and C railroad depot. There's a different gauge of a railroad, uh, than the one that came in from Galveston that supposedly brought Dr. Graves and his fellow Confederate patriots up. Uh, they had been, uh, sent back to as volunteers to Galveston had been sent back to Galveston as Confederates to help get everything reorganized whenever the Yankees were taken over and they spent the summer in Galveston uh, helping the Yankees reorganize and all that now we're going to go deeper into this as we go along um, so just to keep everybody on, uh, updated what's what's happening now is we've got to make an ex another excursion out to Harrisburg and to look for some clues uh, which we've already done a preliminary investigation and there seems to be everything out there everything that these people are sending me uh, is definitely falling into place as far as uh, time frame and exactly what uh, the mindset would have been of everybody that participated in this um, I can say this Excalibur will rise if it's still there so if I keep talking codes or, and, and there's some ciphers and some other things and mysterious symbols or goings on uh, that's because I'm communicating to these other people that are involved who have no faces and no names um, don't know what all was going on about all that but that's another story and it could be another redneck archaeologist investigation I'm Jackson Burns the redneck archaeologist signing off